Use star code Aquila when buying Robux or Premium. Also check out my Roblox merch and my real life merch. These are all of my social media accounts and I have no backups. And my Discord server will be linked in the description. Subscribe and enjoy the video. Hi everyone, it's Aquila. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. And we are approaching another Bloxburg update. And I'm so excited because there's already a few leaks on Twitter. So I just wanted to make you guys aware of them just in case you aren't able to keep up. All the sources in which I got this information from will be linked in my description box, of course. But let's get started with the predictions. Version 0.10.1 predictions slash leaks. So first we have the removal of Halloween slash autumn items. So this is another reminder to just stock up on your Halloween items while you can. So just place them down on your plot and then once the Halloween update is removed, you can delete the items and they will go straight to your inventory and you can have them all year round. Then there is the new background plane small leak in Coeptus's inventory, which could be a new wallpaper or rounded icons. And it's just a white circle and it says, background plain small then it says that we may see the new thumbnails that were made by sky and soft gb and these came out a while ago but we haven't seen them actually implemented in the game so if you haven't seen what these thumbnails look like they're really really cool this definitely might bring in some new players to bloxburg because these look more modern the other thumbnails that we have currently are super outdated so we have this one which is at the park and we have some people playing soccer and there's also a guy back there holding a football so people were speculating that we might get a football in the game which would be really cool then we have one at pizza planet so we have the workers holding pizzas and then we have the person with the box of ingredients these are both jobs at pizza planet obviously and next we have like this pool party thumbnail which is really cool all these thumbnails are super detailed like this girl has on a flamingo floaty she's holding a popsicle we have popsicles in game he has a towel over his shoulder and there's people swimming in the pool in the back this next thumbnail we have some construction workers so there's a girl holding a blueprint the guy next to her has a hammer and then they're doing some work in the back. And this just really shows what Bloxburg is basically all about. In this next thumbnail, we have some Roblox players in a van, and it looks like they're taking a little road trip. And then in the final thumbnail, it looks like these people just moved into their house because we have a box filled with some stuff. Looks like people are finding the right places for everything. So that's really cool, and I definitely love all of these thumbnails. Comment down below and let me know which one is your favorite. This post also says that we may see Josh's contribution to Bloxburg. And then finally, it says that we may see more of the icons that were updated in Coeptus' inventory from the Halloween update with different symbols. A lot of us were thinking that all of this new stuff would happen after Halloween because it wouldn't make sense to add all this stuff for the Halloween update because this isn't Halloween themed. Now, we also did get a new animation leak. So this one is called Eat in Hand 2. And this is what it looks like. And then someone on Twitter named Will Plays Roblox said, maybe a new animation on how to eat the food instead of shoving it into your mouth. And then Geo replied and said, oh, maybe like eating like how it is in Royal High. Instead of eating a whole serving at once, you take bites, which would be a very realistic animation to have in Bloxburg. Because the way we eat food right now is definitely rushed. I hope we can also see some new animations other than that one because that would just add so much more detail for us role players. And then the final leak that is out at the time I'm making this video are some hot dog meshes. So it looks like we might have some different eating stages because we have this full hot dog mesh and then we have half a hot dog. So last year, after the Halloween update was removed, so this is version 0.9.2, we also got the 
flared mansard roofs. We got the added ability to resize the build catalog window, added ability to toggle the lights on the kitchen hoods and backlit mirrors, added new wall light switches, added report house button in permissions menu, added interface color setting, and last but not least, major bug fixes. I think it would be really cool if we got some new foods for Thanksgiving. That would obviously stay in game because I find myself making the same things over and over again because honestly, there's not that many options. Oh, but I did make a post on Twitter and there's something that I really want in a future update and that's a toddler morph. I mentioned this in a video before. I feel like it would just make sense to have a toddler morph because it just goes from baby to kid and you're missing that middle stage. And that would just be really cool to see with my roleplay family because I do have a baby and her name is Livy. I'm sure you guys all know who I'm talking about. And I just don't want her to automatically age up as a kid. I would like to see her as a toddler. So that's why I'm kind of holding back because I have a feeling we might get this eventually. So I'm trying to wait it out. But that is everything that we have for now. And let me know what are some things you'd like to see in this next update. I did see somebody say that they think it might come out this weekend, which would be the 13th or the 14th of November. Let's not get our hopes up because as Coaptus and Froggy have mentioned before, updates release when they're ready. So let's not rush the developers. But I hope you guys all enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please feel free to leave a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. Once you are subscribed, click the bell button so you get notified whenever I post a video. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time.